Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to continue on covering the new WordPress menu navigation and provide some tips and tricks. If you are familiar with WordPress, you know that the menu navigation system has really, really significantly changed. In my opinion, there are aspects that are more complicated to learn about the new menu system, but once you start to get the hang of it, it really seems to be much more beneficial and streamlined and user-friendly overall in terms of how you use the menu, the flexibility of it, because it's all block-based now. And if you haven't familiarized yourself with blocks, I do have another video. I'm gonna provide the link right here if you wanna check that out and get a little more oriented before you continue on this one. Let's jump right into it. First thing you're gonna notice is that under appearance, there's no longer a menu option or a place to edit navigation. This is a huge change because WordPress, almost from the beginning, has always had its navigation and menu system in this one location, which we became very familiar with over the years. To get to the menu, we're gonna click on Editor. Now once in here, pretty self-explanatory. We see navigation. This is your menu system. And just for a note, I'm running a default installation of WordPress. No features added, no plugins, nothing. Just the 2024 theme. I'm not even using a child theme. Very, very basic out of the box setup. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to show you how flexible and how much power and control you have in the menu just by itself without any additional tools. In later tutorials, I am going to be covering some advanced block tutorials that actually provide tools that build onto the existing WordPress block system in a very efficient, fast way. Basically means super fast load speeds, no extra weight, all kinds of beautiful things like that. I don't want to get off topic, just wanted to mention it. To get to the navigation menus, we just click on navigation and you'll see that I have two separate menus here. Anytime you're making edits or you're creating something new, I always recommend you make a copy or a backup. And that's what I did here. I just have a copy of the original menu. We're gonna be working on the primary navigation. Click on that. Now up here, you have options to rename or duplicate. Now, if you wanna make a copy, you just click duplicate and you can make your copy. If you click the edit here, this will actually enable the editing system, which I'm going to jump into a bit more in a moment. But before we do that, let's just go back here so we can see what this presents. You will see just a basic hierarchy of the menu items. And as you can see, that's the same menu that I have here. And you'll notice that in the previous tutorial, I added a button block, which allows me to add a custom button, which is pretty cool. You will notice that quite different than the original WordPress menu system. Now, if you wanna see any of the details of any of these, you can go ahead and click on them, simply see more about them and what, they, what they're what they actually connected to. But for example, if you wanted to add a link to any of these, you could do that directly from here. You can just click on any of these, click the link icon, click here, add a link. And if you wanna go to advanced, for example, if you want a link to open in a new tab, you can do that too. So now this can get a little confusing because there are multiple ways you can edit the menu, but each way allows different flexibility. This editing here is pretty limited. As you can see, you can move up and down. Now, if you want to, you can also drag and reposition these. And I, for example, if I put team first and then I hit save, then we go back, we refresh the menu and you'll see the team was moved over here. So you can do some basic edits with this, but what we wanna do is actually dig into the meat and bones of adding some cool features to this menu. You can simply do that by clicking here on this edit icon, or you can simply just click up here into the menu system. First thing you wanna do when you jump into any of the new WordPress block building system is click on what's called list view. This will give you a hierarchy of the menu or pages or whatever you're working on. It really helps visualize. You will also notice that there are shortcut options available. That's one thing about the new WordPress. There are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that are being integrated into the system to speed up your development and make life a little easier when uh, needing to get places fast. I'm gonna click on the list view, then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this left arrow, and you will see this looks very similar to what we saw before. However, now that we're over here, we have the ability to begin to add elements on the right-hand side. You see a plus symbol here, and a plus symbol here. We can add to this menu by clicking either of these. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and click up here. Now you're gonna be presented with options that are available for the menu. These are not all of them. If I click on browse all, we get quite a bit more. Some of these aren't necessarily as applicable, I would say, to menu, but 
you might find them useful. Let's go ahead and X out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to list view. I'm gonna open this up. And what I wanna do is add some social media links. It's a pretty common thing these days. So we're gonna hit social icons. And all you need to do, once the block is added, you'll see it's right here. You might wanna reposition it. You may want it on the left side, or you might want it on the far right. Now you can do that by clicking these arrows or you can drag it to the position that you want. I'm gonna keep it on the far right. I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign. Let's say I wanna add a link to Amazon. Keep in mind, you can search any of the links. For example, you have Google, Facebook, X, you know, for Twitter and many, many others. So it makes it very efficient and the icon is there immediately available for you. Why don't we link to Facebook? Okay, so there's the icon. Now, you can enter the address like this. This is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, no feature, no advanced features. I'm gonna click apply. You can either hit enter or click there. I'm pretty happy with the positioning of this. I wanna actually add one more though. You can just add additional icons to the menu. Actually, we already have Facebook, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and add, we'll add Google. For good measure. As you can see, the icons are all styled in a specific way. They all open in a new tab. The background, as you can see, I just reset it. Currently set to the background is black and the icon color is white. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but it gives it a bit of a more neutral design. And let's go ahead and refresh the page and see what this looks like. Oh, I didn't add links to the other ones yet. So here, let's go ahead and add links. I'm gonna add wordpress.org and then google.com. Okay, good, and you will notice once the link has been added, full color, notice they were grayed out before. So there's these little intuitive things that WordPress is now integrating that give you signals and identifiers of the state or status of specific things as we just demonstrated. I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete this social icon and then go ahead and click save. I only really need one social icon group, but you can add as many as you want in different groups. Maybe you wanna separate different types of icons out for some reason could be many different use cases. Okay, as you can see again, if we click on WordPress, opens in a new tab. That looks pretty good like. So back on the menu. Now let's go ahead and say that we want to add a search bar. Pretty simple. Simply click search and that block is entered automatically. Now, of course we can customize and modify that, but let's go ahead and refresh. And you will see that we now have an active search bar. Now, if you're familiar with WordPress from the past, you will immediately see that these features are pretty enhanced, pretty advanced and intense because this is not something that we could do before outside of using a custom theme. Remember, this is a default WordPress installation using the default 2024 WordPress theme with no added bells and whistles. Let's go ahead and click on add block and see what else we have available that we might wanna play with. One thing that is very common is your sub menu. This is going to be pretty useful when you need to build out. Now you can simply click on that and you'll be presented with options of your page names. And I'm gonna go ahead and click one. I'm gonna go ahead and click three. So now we have multiple pages here and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And you will notice that the new WordPress interface is pretty touchy. You can hover over things, but just like that, we added a sub menu system. And again, if I'm not happy with how it's positioned, we wanna to go to list view and I want my sub menu to be at the end. And I'm going to, I wanna do something with this. I'm going to call this all pages. Again, this is very intuitive and sometimes it can throw you off because it's overly simple and it's actually easy to make a mistake. Did you see, I just clicked straight in here to make an edit. There was no rename option over here. You see that? You just click on the text and changes that. I added one more page just for good measure. Let's go ahead and go back and refresh. Now, if I wanted somebody just to be able to access all my pages, they could do that. Now, all of these features, almost all of them have design enhancement. Now, by default, WordPress adds the ability to have an arrow to the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an arrow to the first two pages and then not the third page. Now, let's see what that looks like. 
Pretty cool, huh? Generally speaking, when you use these arrows, this generally indicates that it's a link outside of the website. The way that they have this set up here, there aren't a lot of options on that, but it is pretty cool nonetheless to be able to add that arrow if you do want to do something. Another thing that WordPress does, and this is something you have to play with and get familiar with, but you can select all the different customizations that are available by checking them off, clicking the three dots. So now I have all these available. Let's say that I want a very specific font for the first menu item. And then on the second menu item, I want to do something different. Let's put the appearance in there. I'm going to do all caps and I'm going to make it extra large and make it light just for fun. How about we use a different font completely and let's click save. Refresh the page and look at that. So if we had a sub menu and we wanted different types of fonts or to indicate different text in different ways, we can do that. Obviously, this isn't very pretty the way I did this. It was just for example to show you. But the important thing to know is that any of the customizable WordPress features, by the way, if you ever find yourself lost and this navigation disappears and you're trying to figure this out, right here, this settings tool will allow you to open up the, the controls again. So if I click on this, I will get all of the required fields that I might want. If you want to put the link in, a title attribute or a rel attribute. These are mainly for search engine optimization and uh, assistance, um, those that might need it if they're using a text-based browser or otherwise. This symbol right here is style. So anytime there's a style or adjustment that you can make that's available within WordPress, you click on styles. Again, this is where I put the arrow in. This is where I was able to customize the type typography by selecting all the different ones I want to be able to see. I'm going to continue these tutorials going into this menu system. I'm going to get into some advanced tools that allow you to build big menus with images and all types of things. But one thing I want to do is show you this. The styles up here at top is a global style, meaning it's the styles throughout the entire website. So if we click on that, we can immediately begin to make adjustments overall. So we have buttons, headings, links, and text. These will affect all of the different parts of the website and all the colors. For example, these are the default colors of this theme. Let's say I wanted to add a yellow in here. I can simply do that by calling it yellow and hit click done. And now I have a custom color that's available on any of the items that I might want to make a text adjustment to. Of course, I'm not gonna make the site, leave the site text that color, but let's refresh and take a look at what that looks like. Now that's all yellow, you obviously can't read it, but you see that any text that was part of the standard text of the website is quickly changed in a few clicks, which is absolutely beautiful because that's how development is supposed to be, simple and not having to repeat ourselves a million times. Now, as long as you build correctly from the ground up, you can utilize these controls and make quick changes to the website you know, maybe it's holiday season and you want to use certain colors or it's winter and you want to use certain colors. You can do that very quickly by editing these global styles. And global just means it affects the entire website, like the whole thing. All right, guys. Well, that's all. I'm going to wrap this up with saying that this new WordPress menu system is really incredible, super fun to work with. Keep in mind, you can add, see down here, I have a copy of this menu at the bottom. These are the same exact things I added above. The only reason these are being pulled in is because this is just a copy of the menu. But you can have a privacy section, a social specific section, about a specific link, service specific links, all in your own separate menu. So you can update them at any time and they will be updated across the website wherever they're used. It really makes things efficient and simple. And because we now have this really nice, simple visual hierarchy that you can see your menu and navigation and make edits very quickly really makes things simple of really fast updates, adding content, reorganizing content. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope it was helpful. Wishing you a great day.